Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to get on today and um, share with you a vision that I had right before I opened my eyes this morning. It actually woke me up. Um, I had a vision and I heard from the Lord and um, he wants me to uh, warn his people and you know, warn everybody um, about the closed doors in our lives. Um, so this morning um, I was asleep and um, I had a vision of a door and um, I could see this door was closed and there was a person on the other side of it and I knew that uh, God was telling me this person, this is a closed door to this person. This is their past. This is the things they've walked away from. And um, I could see on the other side of this door, there was like a, like a gang of demons. Um, it was just a pile of them. And they were piled up all around that door. It just looked like a team of them. And they were just waiting and they were waiting. And I saw this person begin to go and open that door back up just to look back through, just to just take a peek and see back what was back there again. And and as he opened that door, I saw that the demons just piled on him and latched on him and began to attack him. And so um, the warning that I heard um, was God saying, don't go back to those closed doors. The enemy is waiting on the other side. You know, is a very strategic war going on in the heavenlies. And we cannot be ignorant to how that works. You know, the enemy um, is very strategic. These are the words God spoke to me back in probably 2012-ish. He said, um, you have a very strategic enemy. I want you to learn to be strategic with him. And ever since then, God has walked us through some crazy things to show us how real the warfare is and how strategic um, and tactical the enemy is. And I don't say that to tell you so that you will be afraid of the enemy. I tell you that because God's given us insight to how he works how the enemy works and how God works. And so I just want to um, encourage you today not to revisit the old, the things that you know displease the Lord and the things that brought you pain. You know, I'm begging you today. God is warning you. Don't go. Don't even go and listen to that old door. You know, um, God was has been teaching me that so many times we're so worried about the big tragedies that the enemy can bring and the, the big things that we should be afraid of, that the things that, the, that we should be most afraid of are the whispers he, he can tell us. You know, it is a tragedy that many people are ignorant to the fact that in here, in here, you're a spirit being. You don't just hear your own thoughts. You hear communication from God communications from God and you hear communications from the devil I'm telling you guys God just walked us through something to show us how real the enemy's voice is and if we do not know the character of God we can mistake um I got messages coming in I'm sorry if if we can mistake the enemy's voice for our own and we can mistake the enemy's voice for God's. But if it does not line up with the character of God, you rebuke that thing and you walk away from it. And you say, nope, I'm, I don't receive this. I walk away. So what I'm saying is we have to be careful because how did the enemy come in in the beginning of time with Adam and Eve? It was with a lie. And all they had to do was to believe what he was telling them. And nothing has changed. He's the father, think about that, he's the father of lies. So if he can come in here and tell you, this is what you're thinking, this, and you say, yeah, and you latch on to that, well, then that's his open door. That's his open door. You know, yeah, we need to be careful. Uh, the closed door could be old relationships. The closed door could be, you know, alcohol. The closed door could be, you know, old associations and things, churches that God warned you about, leaders that God warned you about. It could be so many big things, you know, um, drugs, alcohol. Yes, stay away from them. But please understand that before it gets to that big of a thing, it starts with a whisper that's giving you a nudge towards those things. It's the it's the lie. It's the whisper inside that says, go revisit that. And we have to be so careful because, I mean, 
we have to tiptoe in the spirit here sometimes because the enemy, the Bible says he's prowling around like a lion seeking who he can devour. And God, that was a warning to God's people. You're not immune to the enemy's tactics. You just have to be very aware and know how to overcome them. So even if it's um, an old attitude that God had convicted you about and that you've really overcome, whether it's anger or other things that, that you know that are not pure in your heart, you have to be very careful um, not to even revisit that. Don't even... Don't even step your pinky toe in because God was showing me earlier. If we will just, if we just step our toe in that water, we're in the trap right then. We're in the trap and it clamps shut. That's it. That's all the enemy needs. So I'm asking you, if you do tip that little toe in that direction, go ahead, cover that in the blood. Like I said on my post earlier, shut that door, lock it, seal it with the blood of Christ and go on with God. Because the enemy wants to keep you chained and trapped to his devices and the things that he has used in the past to chain you down and to keep you away from God and to displease the Lord so that, that you can just feel this condemnation when it was, it was Satan's idea to begin with. It's not even yours. It's not even yours. You give it power by coming into agreement with it. And then you act on it because it's almost like you take on, you take on that lie by coming to agreement with it. You take it on. So God just, he wouldn't leave me alone until I posted this, that you need to be very careful even revisiting those old doors. You know, go on with God. Go on with God. Don't even go and listen to that old door. Don't even see, don't even entertain the thought of what's back there or entertain the thought of the old you. Keep stepping with God. Go on with God so much. He told me this earlier when I posted about this. He said, people don't usually go up to strangers' doors and open them up. Right? You won't go to a stranger's house and just walk in. You won't just even stick your head in. You won't go listen to their door. God says that's how he wants you to treat those old doors in your life. That they're they're like a stranger's door to you. That you, you get so far from that person that you used to be. That that before Christ and without Christ, that old person is so alien to you and unfamiliar to you that you won't even, you don't even have no business going anywhere around that door. You don't even want to want to or recognize that door. You don't even recognize that person anymore. You know, as I go on with God, there's, I mean, I can look back and I'd be like, who was she? Who was she? That old girl. And in so many areas, you know, God transforms us from glory to glory. We never stop growing with God and he never stops shedding these things off of us. And so we've got to get to the place where we keep going on with God so much that we don't even recognize those old doors if they're presented to us. And that's how if you keep resisting the devil, the Bible says if you resist the devil, he will flee. That is a promise, and that is what we're to do. We're to resist the devil so many times that he finally says, you know what, I'm not wasting my time tempting with this anymore. I see that that door is sealed shut, and I'm not waiting at that gate anymore because that's sealed shut. I don't have to tempt him with that, and it becomes easier and easier. But it's just your warning today. Don't even entertain the thought. That's how dangerous it is. Don't entertain the thought of revisiting these old places. The second that pops up and you know better, rebuke it right there. Say, oh, I see what you're doing. I rebuke you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be rebuked. I'm going on with God. Even, you know, he was speaking to me earlier also about old um, bitternesses, old offenses um, that the enemy wants to keep us bound up in unforgiveness. I'm saying this for somebody right now. Um, Unforgiveness. That the enemy, so so many times we have forgiven these people and we've asked God, help me forgive these people. I want to forgive these people that's hurt me. You know, I don't want to go back here. Even if it's against God, I don't want to go back to that bitter place, Lord. I didn't understand what was going on. I don't want to go back there. Don't you think for a minute that the enemy's not right there reminding you of what these people did or reminding you of the hurt and rejection? Remember what that felt like? Oh, you might go through that again. God might put you through that again. The second You entertain that lie, you empower the liar. That's all he needs is that open door. That's all he needs. And he's waiting there with his associates, 
The Bible says that when Satan fell from heaven, he took a third of the angels with him. Those are demons, and they carry out the darkness in this world. And we've got to know the battle that we face. We've got to put on. The Bible said, the Bible doesn't say we have on the armor of God. It says put on the armor of God. And it would do us so much to go study that and say, God, show me where there's, show me where there's a hole in my armor. Show me where there's a hole in my armor. I'm going to be transparent. The other day, I thought back to something where the enemy had come in and stolen a promise. I, 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 God has revealed so much in this season. I saw where the enemy had stolen from me. And I said, God, how do I keep this from happening again? And I, I was laying there. And I saw a vision of this thing come up, and it was a it was a shield. And I knew that God was telling me it was the shield of faith that you had a hole in at, at that point. The enemy convinced you that I wasn't going to be faithful, and he put a, a, a put a, a dent or hole in your shield of faith in that moment when you believed that it just might not work out like I said. He, he derailed your faith right there. And that's where he came in. And, and he, he, he abused you, and he, he used you. Don't you see? The enemy's waiting to abuse us up here and use us up here. And then he brings condemnation because he makes you think it's you. And he makes you think it's God when the outcome doesn't happen. But he, it's him. He's the author. If God is the author and finisher of our faith, what is Satan the author and finisher of? The opposite. Loss. Oh. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you today that there's these open doors. God is telling me to tell everyone I know, don't revisit the open, the old doors. Don't, don't revisit the old doors. Don't go back to the things that destroyed you, destroyed your life, destroyed your faith, destroyed your healings, destroyed your newness of heart. Don't go back to the filth. Don't go back to the mud and the mire. Go on. Satan's waiting right there. He knows you. He studied people for years and generations and, I mean, come on, centuries. Centuries. The enemy knows what he's doing. He knows how to trick us. But if we will walk out this battle, you nobody goes to battle that doesn't know their enemy. That would be foolish. So I'm exposing the enemy today. He's already made an enemy out of me. I'm his enemy. And I will see to it that I warn you. And I give you all the tools that God gives me. Because this is a real battle. Souls are at stake. Your soul, your life, your every, your generations, future generations are at stake. Every lie that he plants, that we water, we pay attention to it. And just believe a little bit. That's all he needs to give it the growth. So right now, I just want you to uproot every lie. I want you to ask God to expose. He is exposing right now. He's speaking to some of you right now. He's showing you the lies that the enemy planted. And you said, you know what? I know that was dangerous to believe that. I know that was dangerous to do that. I know that was dangerous to entertain that. God's exposing it to you right now. Let him. What is it, Lord? What is it in me? What is it in them? Show them. Show me. The lies of the enemy. Uproot them, Lord. Let us see those weeds for what they are so that we can uproot them. Thank you, God. I pray a newness and a freshness of faith, of hope, and the power of the blood in your life. That's what we need. We need to grab on to the truth. The truth shall set you free. Amen? The truth shall set you free. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. You don't move backwards in the spirit. The spirit never moves backwards. It moves forward. And we're going on with God in Jesus' name. You have a blessed day. I love you and so does the Lord.